traffic management etc you may be doing ground handling so it has approval by itself maintenance yes we are very sure we are on part 145 awareness is part M no longer part M now it's part Kamu CS Kamu and also part COA C CAO Continuing Awareness Organization and training is part 147 So this is the US and the answer in Europe has been using these numbers and practices. If you ask me why the number 147, 145, I, I still yet to find out. But this is the number. All throughout the world, if you talk about 147, it's ATO. If you talk about 145, it is a Maru. If you talk about Sapat J, Sapat G, Sapat J is POA, Sapat G is POA. Okay, for those countries, some countries do not practice this. They do not approve organization to do the design. They approve the individual, for example, the US, that's why we have DR. Designated engineering lab, so individual approval. Okay, let's go to this. Then, what we have here in Malaysia is this, and similarly, what others doing, we also follow. And you may be one of these, for example, I know Billy is in this area, for our fine. Maybe it's going for POAs or maybe they also doing for BA. So that is something to say. I think it's in the Okay, now this is approval. This approval comes with privilege. Privilege comes with obligation. Obligation. One of the major obligations is compliance. Always comply to the requirement. So who do you need? Basically, normally everyone, all. Who are responsible to make sure all the all the required uh, practices being done properly, system run properly, is the QA. Through what? Through audit and surveillance. So mean that this is approval. Approval comes with the privilege. To have the approval, you must have an obligation. First obligation that you need to do, you need to ensure is compliant to the regulation, compliant to the requirements, and how we do it by doing it through audit and surveillance. Continuous audit and surveillance and improvement. Okay. Any questions so far? Now, uh, you need to do certain exercise. Uh, take some because we should start at nine thirty, finish uh, twelve thirty. So what you need to do is you need to to look at what is your organization for. Uh, let's start with Billy. Billy, you are? 145. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we have Ajmain? 145 too. 145. We have uh, Are? Are you not hearing me? His mic got problems, sir. He's replying through message. Okay. He's in what? You see the Okay, what we need to do is we look we develop legal register. You can develop one and then uh, after you finish then you just show the screen what you have, I can comment on it. Okay. Legal register is uh, what you need to do, hold up. This is the legal. This is the compliance. Legal, you start with what? 
What do you think? Legal resistance. Legal cover everything. Okay, you may say legal is start with X. Single version X. And then you go to MK. Here you just list out the paragraph. Of the X paragraph for the MK. Is it enough for you? Not enough. Why? Because to apply for for five, you must be a legitimate company. So you may have to think of the company ROC compliant. Surprise! Sometimes maybe you so so. Eh? ROC compliant. Then. You must think what as organization. You have to comply to DOSH on OSH environment. So because we're talking about audit here, so we talk about audit. We need to be. We need to. Clearly understand, we're not just looking at this. If you are the QA, okay. fine, you comply to this. What if you have problem with DOSH? OSH? What have? You, what if you have problem with environment? You're not legible, le 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 legible for this, because you must have a legitimate company. If there's, if they lock your gate. Because of environment and dodge issue, then this is nothing. So what you need to do, just very simple, think of what is the legal compliance required for your organization. This is a paragraph, and from there we expand. Because here also you need to do the audit. Maybe some of you, I found, I'm doing a lot of audit as well. I found some of us are not looking at this issue. Environment and all until they are fine, until the company got fine. So yeah. again, yeah. So again, that's why we. I'm talking about audit here. Audit is general. I'm not talking about audit one for five. I'm talking about audit of organization. So the first thing that we do as auditor or SQA, you should keep this. I'm keep telling people. I always go around with Sirim. This is the first thing they need. You need to show the auditor, not just compliant to standard and policy, also compliant to all the aspect of regulation. Because we're talking about the company here, you are the company. So I give you like uh, half an hour. Then you you can scribble on the paper. You can just uh, put an Excel up to you. Half an hour. Try to work out this. And then you show to me, and then we can discuss. I can comment, and you also maybe uh, give some input on this. So this is the first thing you need to do as auditor. You must you must understand the company as a whole first. So can we come back in uh, fifteen past eleven? Then show what you have. Uh, you can stay on, but you can ask question. Stay on, ask question, and. Okay. By fifteen past eleven, you show show me the this record legal register. Legal register, and then we try to work out the risk register from there. So you add a column, you create a column legal, legal, the paragraph, and here is your potential risk, because now. What is required is also you have to look at the risk of the organization. Okay.